Hello guys, welcome back to another episode right here. Right now, I am actually really, really angry. Um, I recorded two to three episodes right now. And as I was editing them, I just checked and I had my microphone muted. So that whole content is just dead. But I have made so much crap and now I have to try explain all that over again. So the first thing I'll have to explain is I made a, a portal and the portal linking got uh, fucked up. And the other side of the portal is in the middle of nowhere, about 200 blocks away from here. That's the first thing. I have made these project tables. And project tables are basically tables that can contain things and keep making them infinitely. For example, if I want to make this, for example, I want to make glowstone blocks. Yeah? So I place one of them in there. And then I place all the rest, all the excessive materials I place here. And I can keep on making it and it will just take from here. That's a project table. It's really cool, really neat, really neat project. Um, I have smelted most of it. Okay, what you see here is the normal extractor that we made together with a normal generator with an MFE unit that is getting full. Well, how do you make an MFE unit? An MFE unit is made by getting energy crystals together, diamond and redstone around, and four of these together with copper cables, you know how to make these, and a machine block, just a normal machine block. These machines are, well, pretty um, upgraded versions of the macerator, the electric furnace, and the compressor. Then I have added some more, um, some more solar panels. As you can see right now, I have a lot of solar panels, a ton. This is producing a lot of energy for me, so I can have all my machines running all the time. These bigger chests are called golden chests. They're from the iron chest mod. Iron chests for like if I just do chests, yeah. Then you see here golden chests. It's part of iron chest. If you see it, it's made by this. Just to be golden and iron chest. Iron chests are made by refined iron and other chests. And these are basically pretty damn huge big chests. I've made a lot of these with all my resources, as you can see even some coke oven brick and some coal um yeah so that's basically all what i made and now i'm going to explain the principles of this rotary macerator a rotary macerator is basically an upgraded version of a racerator using the advanced machines it right now it has to like speed up to 10,000 rpm but whenever you first start it it's at zero so it needs a lot of power to get to these rates per minute and then you also need a lot of power to fill this in, but whenever you like are done doing this, things go really fast. For example, if I get the silver ore and I put it in my rotary macerator, you'll see that it goes really, really damn fast. A rotary macerator is made like this. Just a normal macerator, along with refined iron and an advanced machine block. An advanced machine block is made by a normal machine block and by carbon plates. Carbon plates are basically compressed, compressed raw carbon meshes. Raw carbon meshes are two raw carbon fibers and these are for coal dust. Coal dust is smelted hydrated coal dust or it is macerated coal. This is how you make a rotated rotary macerator. It's already done as you can see, and let's go over to the induction furnace. It has to heat up first before it can, can go really fast, but whenever it is heated up, it is super fast. As you can see right here, it is really fast. It produces, it requires a lot of energy though. That's why I have all these solar panels. And let me show you how it's made. It's made by a normal electric furnace along with a lot of copper and an advanced machine block, again, just as previously. As you can see, really fast machine. The singularity compressor also, just as the other two, has to get to a certain PSI in order to um, run pretty fast. So it has to actually be on all the time if you want it to actually be fast all the time. So a singularity compressor is made by a lot of obsidian with a compressor and another advanced machine block. So 
basically this is all that I have done in a short note. I know this really really sucks. I hate it myself too. Oh, how could I be so stupid by accidentally? I, I must have hit a mute button somewhere. But yeah, most of these things are muted. I've lost like three episodes, three full episodes have just gone up in the air. I don't even know if you have seen this. This is my wheat farm, just a basic one, but this is it. And there's so much stuff that I did. I mean, I, I went for clay mining, I went for obsidian mining, I went for the tour in the nether. I made this whole farm here, like for my um for my fast foster getting these stuff. I made a diamond drill, but you probably saw this already. Well, if you don't, if you didn't, this is how you make a diamond drill. Uh, where is the drill? Right here. Just a normal drill with diamonds around. And this is how you make a normal drill. Refined iron with an electronic circuit. And... Oh, 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 oh. I failed somewhere. With an electronic circuit and an RE battery. Um... Let me check my inventory. You probably have seen this already. I went mining with it. These bags. I don't think you already seen these bags. No, you didn't. The bat bag you probably didn't see. Well, the bat bag is basically an extra um, elect electric unit storage, like an extra EU storage for all my uh, machines I have, my, all my electric machines. Like if I wouldn't have this bat bag, and this can only store 10,000 EU, which means that after this 10,000 U is gone, I have to go back home and refill it. With the bat bag, which contains 60,000 EU, I can just put it right there and it will keep on refilling all my electric U, all my electric main, all my electric machines, all my electric tools right here. So basically the electric 3 tap is just an electric version of a normal 3 tap. It does exactly the same thing. The only thing that's different is that this thing doesn't wear out. Basically, you can keep using it forever, as long as you have enough energy. I'm gonna show you the crafting recipe right now. This is the crafting recipe, pretty easy to make. Um, and the backpacks. The backpacks are a lot difficult, like, not a lot difficult, but just a little bit difficult. For example, if I'm gonna mine something, like these dirt blocks, it's not going to be in my normal inventory, it's going to be in my digger's backpack. As you can see, if I open it, it's right in there, right in the digger's backpack. So I made these because that makes mining a lot easier. For example, for my, for my miner's backpack, that means that I have 15 more slots to put all my ores in if I go mining. This is a lot, this is really cool. Um, I'm going to tell you more about this in a minute. Um, okay, how do you make such a backpack? Well. They're basically all pretty easy to make, backpacks. Um, the miner's backpack is just made by two normal wool, or any color wool, four string, two iron, and a chest. The digger's backpack is made by two wool, four string, a chest, and two stone. That's how you make one. There's some cool, neat, um, neat stuff that needs to be told about these backpacks. For example, in my digger's backpack, I have three dirt right now. And in this chest, I have a bunch of more dirt, like 52 here. If I go sneaking, and I right click on the chest, it's out of my back and right into the chest automatically with all the stuff in my inventory. That is really cool, a really cool addition. Um, yeah, what do I have to tell you more? I'm think I'm just wandering around my world here trying to remember what I did in the last two episodes. But I really hate the fact that I just lost an hour and a half of coverage. Oh well, who cares? Um, okay, this thing. This is a coke oven. It basically uses coal and it makes creosote oil and coal coke. Coal coke is actually twice as good as the coal. So, for example, if I would take this coal and I would put it right here in a generator, it would produce two times as much MFE, like two times as much EU as a normal coal would. So that's pretty cool. It's also two times less wearing out. So right now I have enough energy. Actually, I want to take these out because I'm going to fill it up. Um, well, and the creosote oil is used later in the game, but since you need a lot of it, I started the process right now already. Um, 
Um, I'm, I'm really sorry that I lost this coverage, but yeah, I can't really do anything about it right now, sorry. Um, it's time for us to make a little electrolyzer that will help us make some stuff in the game. An electrolyzer is not that difficult to make. Um, I need four of these. Well, I'm just gonna take them all. I also need... I'm gonna need more, so I'm just gonna take out this and make them all insulated. I'm gonna need some refined iron to make a thing like this. I am also going to need two redstone. I'm actually getting low on the stuff, um, on the juice, on the redstone. Um, oh, that's wrong, it's like this. So this is what I need. I also need four. I have four left. And I need two empty cells. And how do you make an empty cell? An empty cell is made by four tin. So good thing we have four tin left right now. An empty cell. Okay, so let's make this thing then. Something like this. Oh yeah, and I made it wrong. Totally made it wrong. This is how you make it. An electrolyzer. An electrolyzer is basically a machine that is put right next to the MFE unit. So I'm gonna have to put it right here. And it basically, if you have, uh, I need a bucket to show this thing. I'm gonna need more buckets to make an unlimited water source. Don't wanna do that. Okay, I need an unlimited water source to show things off. So I'm gonna take some iron out of the chest to make two more buckets. Actually, one more bucket should be enough. Let's sleep through the night in a while. Oh, I'm still angry about the loss of these two episodes. They were actually pretty good episodes, if I say myself, but yeah. It's just crappy shit. So yeah, I, I don't even know which number of episodes this will be. It should be six, but I think it will be three or four, maybe, if I'm lucky. Yeah, I might try to recover some of the footage, but yeah. Nothing much I can do with footage, though, except just showing you with some music, maybe, but I will probably won't do that, um, because it's like an hour and a half, and I can't just have an hour and a half of music, can I? Um, just temporary water source here, so I can get myself seven electrolyzed water cells. Because this might take a while if I have to do it manually. I'm gonna let it do its thing already in a while. No, no, this won't electro electrolyze, this will. Okay. I'm gonna change the mode of this thing in the while, if I can find the button. No, it's not this thing. It's the mode of this thing. I have two machines right here. It's an electric wrench, basically the electric version of a normal wrench. It's made like this. And then I also have the chainsaw, which is basically something to cut trees, obviously. And it's made like, made like this. And this I need to put in lossless mode. If I can find the but no, it's the wrong it. It is the right thing. How do you put it? This in lossless mode. There must be a button somewhere, but I don't remember the button. Um, VBN. Okay, let's check our controls to find out the button. Big block, Alt key, mode switch. This should be it though. Mode switch. I have no idea why it's not working. Well, anyway, um, let's get some more electrolyzing done. So that makes four water cells. Um, I need, that makes six water cells. 
and that makes seven. Okay, cool. Um, that's done. Oh my god, you can't believe how how freaking angry I am for that. Just it's it's one little button that I accidentally pressed and Oh, I worked an hour and a half just for nothing. If something like that happens, you just get angry. Believe me. You just get angry. Oh my hell. I'm pretty damn angry right now. So these electrolyzed water cells will allow me to make a centrifuge extractor, something like this. With so whenever I will have enough to make this thing, I guess I will come back to you guys. And actually, I'm gonna refill my backpack. Okay, so right now my SP is <laughs> on right now so you should be able to hear me all if not i'm probably gonna rage even more next episode sorting machine and then some tome crafts build crafts tons of things to do in this game and that thing is fully loaded i'll see you in a minute whenever this thing is done hello guys welcome back um i have been checking on the time you've been doing okay we're doing pretty cool uh right now it's like 16 minutes in or something so um I don't want to mess too much around because for the next episode I have something great planned and um, I can't start at that right now because it's just too much work and um, yeah that's why I'm gonna quit that for now but there's two more things I'd like to do in this episode and that's get some silver about six silver I need six silver three diamonds and a bunch of glass Yes, guys, we're gonna make. I need more glass. Hmm, do I have sand laying around somewhere? Yeah, I do. Watch induction furnish some sand. That should be great. <laughs> Creeper. Oh, he went down the staircase. <gasps> Epic. Oh, 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 sand. Oh, great. How's my electricity doing? Pretty cool, pretty decent. I should upgrade to an MFSU unit in some episodes probably. Get me some more sand, or maybe even start a um I don't even know how it's called machine. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's put the silver in there and the diamonds in the middle. This gives us an, a nice and sweet glass fiber cable. This cable is the best cable in the game, in vanilla, this game. But I think it, in every game, this is like in every industrial craft thing you can think of, this is just the best cable ever. So, let's delete that other cable and place some glass fiber cable. This cable can go up to high voltage. <laughs> oh my god, this always happens to me. This cable can up can go up to high voltage and the energy loss of this is really really not much. The energy loss to be exact is 0 0.025 EU EU each block. So 0 0.025 that's totally not much. In 40 blocks, we lose one EU. Only in 40 blocks. So, what can you have? What can you want possibly more than cables like this? In fact, I am going to update the whole machinery with it. So, I like you back. I like all my cables back in my cool layout right here. And I'd like to put down these cables all over the place then I'd like to mine down come down with cable and yes we have fiber cable everywhere great now our energy loss is a lot better well a lot less 
Um, also, I have left this hole right here because my electrolyzed water cells are done. Meaning that I can now make a centrifuge extractor. That's a really tough machine, right? Here he is, centrifuge extractor. We should get ourselves a lever going. Um, lever, lever, lever. Okay. Actually, I don't want to put it there. I want to put it here. Okay, so the speeds in a minute goes up. The energy goes still up. Nice. It can still keep up with all this. Um, I might be upgrading to LV transformers one of these days. And I've also figured out how the hell you upgrade these miners backpack. Um, these, it should be, no, um, I still don't know. <laughs> but what I do know is how to change the mode into electric wrenches. Yes, I do. Hmm. Apparently, even dish is not working. Dish. Oh yeah, it's P right now. Yeah. So P and right click enables the lossless wrench mode. That means that a lot of energy will be used while um, destroying the machines, but you have a 100% chance of getting the item back. So that's basically all we need. Um, we also need a lot and a lot of if I say a lot, I mean a lot, of creosote oil. It's really important in the making of any rails. And actually to show you, um, I'm gonna build a track, well not build, just show you how to build one. For example, a track, a normal track. Like a normal railroad you would build without any special things you need. Six standard rails and a stone rail bat. How do you make a stone rail bat? By four wooden tires. How do you make a wooden tie? Creosote oil. So it's really important to have some creosote oil laying around and the coal can actually be used to fill up your machinery. So right now I basically need more machines that use electricity all the time. And I'm thinking about doing that in about two episodes. I'm gonna be starting doing build crafts and for build craft, I have some idea that will use. If I if I make a quarry, I can um, have some cool stuff l running around. So um, okay, I guess I'm gonna end it up here right now. And the only reason I am doing that is because next episode we're making a sorting system, and I could get started on the sorting system right now. But I'm feeling if I get started right now. We can only do half of the sorting system. And if I do half of the sorting system, it's like split up into episodes, and that's not cool. So, probably a whole episode, we will be making the sorting system. And I'm just gonna check up on my materials right here, because I'm running low on everything. This copper and tin, I guess I could macerate them both to get them normal. Not induct. Because these are the other, these are the ones I just not used with tin dust, and that's why I have to do like like this to get normal ones. Oh, not in a singularity compressor. Nice, we got normal copper and tin. It's it's just config file shit. It just config file shit. So nothing to be worried about. Okay, so what can I do more? I I really don't have enough redstone to do this thing. So what I guess I'll do is make a fee, lots of a stone, some redstone, some glowstone, and a diamond. I'm not going to be using too much of uh, equivalent exchange, but this thing is pretty cool. And I'm going to show you in a minute why this thing is so cool. It's the one, it is different, right? No, it isn't. Okay, cool. Um, put the rest back okay get this mace raider and then I'll show you what this is all about and this is going nicely up okay so what the hell is this thing all about a philosopher's stone what can a philosopher's stone do well a philosopher's stone one can change block types all around that's pretty cool huh pretty neat okay 
Um, what can the Philosopher's Stone do more? If you press C with the Philosopher's Stone, wait, I changed all those controls for all those things and Okay, if you press C for all these things, like C right here, you get a crafting bench. So just pressing C gets you a crafting bench. Then F is going to blow around these cool things. That's pretty neat, huh? Okay, we just need to find a little animal where I can test it on. I think you need energy for it though, but not sure at all. Um, going to have to make an automatic wheat system one of these days. Let's try on that little cow over there. Let's get a little bit closer before we test it. I need I need energy. I need like die and like a glowstone or anything. So whenever I get some glowstone running, I'll um, show you guys how that works. And the philosopher's stone can all do kind of exchange stuff around like for example if you put that in one of these things with a diamond around you will get four gold so that's all pretty cool i like the philosopher stone a lot not gonna use it that much as i said i'm not gonna be using equivalent exchange or um the transmutation table to do any of the um the big end stuff like just whenever i need something just get your transmutation table and EMC it around stuff. That's not what I mean when um, when saying something like I'm gonna make this. Okay, so um, nothing to be afraid of. Right now, as a wrap up point, getting closer. Well, not a wrap, just end video point is getting closer. And um, what I'd still like to do is get this out and test my new centrifuge extractor wow a centrifuge extractor what does the thing do it's still not full of capacity but let's test it around pretty neat fast speeds it still has to go to 10,000 rpm like the other one but that looks good if you ask me that looks really good i might have to make uh, another induction furnace and another rotary maze radar but I do not know about that perfectly. In fact, I'd like to go to right here. So add three more machines to the, this part. Actually, two more machines because right here I'm gonna have a cable going up in the whole thing. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do it right there. Not sure though. Um, no, I guess. I guess I'm gonna let my cable up right here so yeah right here is gonna be the cable up so this goes pretty fast I like it I like it a lot um, so I will get the, um, some of the materials I think I'll need to build some chassis I think I have most of it for the mark two things yeah a bunch of iron some basic logistic yeah should be capable of making something like this but actually for the basic logistic I might have some problems with the glass so just to be sure I'll get some more uh, sand in between episodes I thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one